plus two failed students or PUC failed students, commerce students, humanities students, if they can do engineering, how they can do it? It is the content of today's episode. Welcoming all viewers and subscribers to a brand new episode of Educated Daily Show. So friends, today we are going to understand if plus two or PUC or PDC failed students can do their engineering program, if at all they can do, how they can do it. And also if students, they have done their humanities in plus two or commerce in plus two, can they go for engineering? That is content of today's discussion. We are going to introduce diploma in engineering. Most of us will be knowing about Diploma in Engineering, but this particular course is not a substitute for B.Tech Engineering. That must be understood. There are critical differences between these two courses. First is Diploma Engineering is not a bachelor's or UG program. But if you do your diploma, obviously you can go for B.Tech. That is main catch here. So coming back to the topic, let's understand this particular course that is engineering diploma course. There are some six points which we must understand professional course, meaning this particular diploma course equips its candidates or students to go for certain professions. What kind of profession depends upon kind of engineering diploma you are selecting. Second is this is a three years course, meaning three years you have to spend and also even if you have done your 10th or 12th, you can opt for diploma in engineering. If you fail the plus two, you can opt for this particular course. Humanities commerce candidates or students can also study engineering through diploma in engineering. And the sixth and last point is about entry to B.Tech that is second year meaning it is called as the lateral entry so you don't have to study the first year you can directly go for second year of B.Tech this is called lateral entry this way you are going to have six years to complete your B.Tech three years for the diploma plus three years for B.Tech so all together in six years diploma and B.Tech of course if you pass exams all in first attempt. Now the next topic for the discussion is which are the famous commonly known and very much useful scoreful education engineering diploma courses. The first one is diploma in computer science engineering. It can be called as a junior BTEC. This particular course base for your BTEC computer science engineering. Even if you don't want to go for BTEC Diploma in Computer Science Engineering itself will give a very strong foundation for your engineering profession. The second is Diploma in Automobile Engineering and third is Diploma in Civil Engineering. Fourth is Diploma in Chemical Engineering. Fifth is Diploma in Mechanical Engineering. Sixth is Diploma in Aeronautical Engineering and seventh is Diploma in Electrical Engineering. 8th is Diploma in Petroleum Engineering, 9th is Diploma in Textile Engineering and 10th is Diploma in Mining Engineering. So these are main top 10 Diploma Engineering courses. Now coming back to the course highlights that Diploma Engineering is providing. The first is of course it is a Diploma level professional course. Duration already discussed that is 3 years, 2 semester each meaning 6 semester altogether. Exams will be conducted on semester basis. If you are seeing the fee structure, then 30,000 Indian rupees to 1 lakh it comes. And the eligibility, as already mentioned, even those students with the 10th or even with 12th, if you are going for 12th, you should have physics, chemistry, PCM combination from recognized board. Minimum aggregate percentage coming 50 percentage. Admission process mostly will be merit based. In few occasions, entrance examinations also will be conducted. Starting salary will be 3 lakh per annum to 6 lakh per annum per year basis of course. And job options 
comes for assistant engineer junior manager assistant inventory manager project assistant junior engineer professor and consultant obviously i should highlight one point here that if you want to work as a professor diploma in engineering is not sufficient you have to go for btech plus you have to continue through mtech and your phd program but diploma is the beginning and also to work as a consultant you should have necessary education that is btech plus mtech and also you should have a solid work experience and expertise next topic for us is diploma in engineering which is otherwise called as polytechnic which all are the eligibility criteria let's understand this particular point in detail when it comes to the age the minimum age is 17 years of course but there is no upper age limit and if you are going after 10th, you should have from the recognized board and from the recognized institute. Mathematics, physics, chemistry combination must be there and 55% of the marks must be scored. And if you are going for 12th, you should have physics and mathematics plus optional subjects such as chemistry, biology and biotechnology. An aggregate percentage should be 50 percentage and if you fall into any of the reserved category 45 percentage is also acceptable now the next topic is admission process admission can happen through entrance examination or through direct admission so when it comes to entrance examination obviously there will be examination there will be ranking system your score will be compared and you will be put in a list where your rank will be seen and compared when it comes to direct admission it will be based on your 10th or plus 2 mark and counseling will be done after that document verification and of course payment of fees then your enrollment program another interesting topic has to be discussed in this episode which is about the lateral entry option which is given for diploma in engineering program just like if you study diploma in engineering you can get into second year of btech that is lateral entry to btech program here a lateral entry to diploma program can be done through two routes first route is candidates who have taken iti programs that is those students who have successfully completed their it program in any of the trades they can take lateral entry admission to second year of diploma that too this iti and the diploma course fields has to be compatible meaning if you are going for mechanical engineering the iti has to be some of the disciplines of mechanical engineering if you are going for computer science engineering then iti has to be compatible with any of the or relatable to any of computer science engineering field that way or the second way is vocational qualification or certification course in technical field after 10th or 12th also makes you eligible to go for your lateral entry to diploma engineering now the admission process here merit based it could be sometimes entrance examination also will be there whatever be the situation depending upon your qualifying you will be given for document verification followed by fee payment and campus admission so friends these are some of route you can proceed you can pursue to reach your engineering dreams even if you have failed your plus two or if you have studied your humanities or commerce of course this is an interesting topic many question may come which you should be free to ask in the comment box we can of course continue our discussion especially on the topic what is lateral entry test if you want to know more about that even if lateral entry test to diploma in engineering also lateral entry test to btech programs of course i will be more than interested to discuss those topics also thank you for watching have a great day